So we got to prepare for the storm, for the hurricane. Yes, prepare. Which uh, they've actually moved. I don't know if you followed it all, but uh, they've actually moved it to, uh, you know, it, it was coming in on Tuesday morning. Now I don't think it's going to hit us till Thursday night. You know? So it's still coming. We still have to prepare. Yeah, we still have to prepare because we're going to have to strap, uh, strap down the greenhouses and all. He's got to come, he's got to get involved. Yeah. Always. He's hungry. He's looking for his treat. He's got to get involved, checking out what's happening here. Wants to know what's happening with the storm. He's concerned. He knows it's coming. He's better than the Weather Channel. <laughs> I'm sure he is. He can sense it. What do you think, huh? Where do you, which way do you think it's coming? What do you think the winds are going to be like? What's the rain going to be like? He knows. Yeah, we've got to strap down those the greenhouses. We've got to go around and pick up everything, too, so the winds don't blow everything around. We've got to get the greenhouses. We're going to put them down, and then we have to secure them. We're going to have to get the ropes and the ratchets. Do we have the rope, by the way? So... We might, we need more rope, so we have to get some more rope and we'll be set. We have one row of rope that I think will be good for one greenhouse, but then this greenhouse will need one rope. Yeah. We have to get to the, the top, especially in the winter. We have to get that rust off the top of the greenhouse. Yeah, it could work on it. I'll get that done. Dabbers are not even out yet today, huh? Nope. Steve's always out a little bit, but these guys kind of came up. Super active, it's an amazing tour this right Yeah, he, he, you, you come out here and he gets involved in the conversations. Oh, yeah. He checks everybody out. He, you know, sometimes if we have a camera crew here or something, he, he's got to see everybody. Yep. He's got to check everybody out. He's looking around, trying to figure out what's going on. What else we got lined up? So I'm gonna get work on those guys in the bins inside the house and if you wanted to get any preparation done, I don't know if the gasoline's important or water. Yeah, we'll know. probably work on the gas thing tomorrow. Yeah, so we just make sure we have all the supplies, the rope. I'm gonna take care of all the animals here. Clean up the food bowls and water bowls. He's really following me. Yeah. Okay. He's looking. Where is somebody going to give me something? He's relentless, right, sometimes? He doesn't give he, up. He, he drives Kurt crazy. Yeah, he does. He just drives him crazy. He won't, he won't stop. Huh? Huh, big boy? You don't want to stop, huh? You're going to run us down. Persistence, right? One of the keystones of tortoise survival. Never stop. You can't stop them. They're just so persistent. Yeah. That's why I so long. It came right to me. I like how he checks everything out too. He looks at your hands. He, he like looks in your pockets, you know? He's, he's been around so long, he knows, you know, and he's trying to smell. You hear him there, he's trying to smell, like, where, where, where is it? Where's he got there? Yeah, and he What's probably he? realizes that I don't have anything. So yeah, he really doesn't have anything. He knows you don't have anything, so but yet out. he's going he's gonna to interface with you, you know? Yeah. That's so awesome. Yeah, he's smart. Very smart. He knows to stop right here and everything, check everything out. Look, uh, he's going to put it in reverse. When I was a kid, you know, I didn't think tortoises could go walk in reverse. For the longest time, I tried to figure out if, if a tortoise could actually walk. I, had, I guess I had read somewhere that, that tortoises could not walk backwards, you know. 
but I, yeah, but you, you know, they don't walk backwards well. They go slow, but they do it, you know. They do a couple steps and start turning. That's what I just seen. You hear his foot clunking on the on the on the slate? That's his foot clunking, making that clunking noise. So connected with the ground, like an elephant. Yeah. He's cornered us here. Constantly with the heavy breathing. And you know, he's got his mouth closed. All of that air goes in through his nose. Mm -hmm. Just all for smelling purposes. I think that's exactly what he's doing. He's smelling to see if I have anything on this. Right now, he's looking at Baxter. You see him in there? He was looking at Baxter's in there. Oh, yeah, he takes everything. Yeah, Baxter in there. So he was just looking at Definitely need to observe these guys. Come here. Maybe he's given up now? No. Nah, he won't give up. He won't give up. He's even coming back soon. That's amazing. <laughs> he's looking, he took a shot there at the at the, the feeding table. I like when he steals the food off the table. Drives Kurt crazy. Kurt, Kurt thinks that he's over here sleeping or something. He walks behind that he, cage. He hasn't gone 10 seconds, and he's, he raids the table. He, he waits for him to walk away. Yeah, he does it to me too. Yeah, because you chase him, you chase him. He knows you're going to chase him, so he just waits there, and he's got a half an eye open. Yeah. And then, bang, he hits the table and eats everybody else's food. Yeah, Crazy. yeah. 105 years old, and and he has the most energy of all the tortoises. Somebody had asked me online. They said, you know, do you know what species he is? And he's um, he's a Vincina, and he comes from the um, Isabella Island in the Galapagos. That's the the big island there, and that Vincina is it just. You see that lip right there in the front, how it, it curls up, and he has that, he has a long neck, he has a wide head, and um, you see that, just the way that front, that's the whole Vincina thing, he has that, you know, the next um, evolution would be more of a saddleback, so the Vincina is, is in between what actually uh, Bernie is, um, which, which he comes from uh, Santa Cruz Island, and... Um, he comes, the, the Vincina comes from, uh, from uh, Isabella Island. Uh, then you have the saddleback, which is, uh, yeah, that's just what they're made to do is to stretch, stretch their neck like that. So, you know, he's, a, he's a, uh, an evolutionary step in between. You don't see that many of these that come from the Isabella no, Island. No, no. Very rare. No. And when I see other people's collection, I don't. You don't, you don't see them. Santa Cruz. There's not that many of them. There's some neat species out there. He's got that wide head, very wide head. And that little flare up in the beginning of his shell there. He gave up. <laughs> He's going to go find something else to do. He's headed somewhere else. Yep. This, he's going to see what kind of trouble he can get into. <laughs> Man, he doesn't care how long it takes. It's going to take him... Ten minutes to get to the feeding table. You don't. You don't care. You're right. Yeah. Hell you know, if, if, if if you were human, you would go crazy to go take ten minutes to get there. Yeah. You know, and he's like, you know, when I get there, I get there, and I'll still be there when I get there. Yeah. Not, I'll figure out something else to do. Not a high power speed machine like this guy. Hmm. Waiting, guarding, looking for bad guys. He's ferocious at night. This guy. 
Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah I worry man. about him the back door down. He yeah. thinks he sees something out here. When he hears something, he goes he, crazy. He goes, he goes crazy. And the other one, I, well, he's got good hearing. That other one? Baxter? The little the little basset hound? You know, you you can't believe it. He's got he's got some great hearing. Oh, yeah. There was a hunting dog here. They used him for hunting. Yeah. But this guy, he's he's just so intense, you know. Oops. Yeah. And he's full of energy. He doesn't bother the tortoises. That's what's so neat, you know. All of the dogs that have grown up here on the farm never have never bothered the tortoises, which is something that you got to be concerned about. You know, it's the number two reason they actually die, right? The number is the second most popular reason tortoises get killed or maimed. Uh, Aldabra tortoises, especially with the soft shell that they have because they're giant tortoises, they get, uh, they get killed from dogs. And the, the sad thing about it, look, he made it over there. The sad thing about it is that um, I've seen that happen in the first 20, 30 home. Yeah. It happens It happens so so quickly. So many people don't expect their dogs to act that way. And the next thing you know, pow, you, you know, you have a situation. Really, really upsetting when that happens. You know, you're waiting for them to grow up to be like him. Well... I guess we'll get our we'll get our morning started. Yep. And get it started. All right, Mario.